<laughs> okay. So when when you're younger, your parents will tell you a lot of things. Don't do this. Don't do that. And most of the time, you know, parents are right. I, I think all, all the time. I'm a parent too. I think most of the time I'm right. And uh, what I'm going to tell you guys today is uh, some of the mistakes that you should avoid when you're short selling your house. Number one mistake is, you know, it's price wrong. And when you have a price on a house, you have to you have to make sure five at least five people, five parties are happy, which is the bank that has the loan, the buyer, the buyer's agent, the seller, and then the buyer's bank. So all those five people, all those five parties need to be satisfied that the price is right on the on the house. Second mistake is gonna be that you have an inexperienced listing agent. And frankly, if your house has been on sale for 90 days and you don't have a decent offer, you have the wrong agent. Third is showing restrictions. When you're short selling your house, or you're selling your house in any case, you have to be available at all times. You know, if you're restrictive as far as, you know, only show the property between 10 to two, etc., you will limit the people who are gonna buy it because buyers will be there when they're ready to be there. So whenever somebody shows up, you be ready, you go be open for it, and you say, yes, let's go to show the house. The fourth one is, the properties, all the properties, you know, when you have a, when you're, when they're listed, they'll be on the MLS, on the multiple listing system. And sometimes you'll see listings with one photo, two photos, or no photos. Guys, for example, in my listing system, I think I have 53 photos I could take, and you better be sure that I'm gonna be taking 53 photos of your house to put them up there. The next mistake is that it shows bad. And what I mean by that is that, you know what, it needs to be staged. So nice, free of clutter, you know, a nice spacing, things like that to make it look presentable. Just like, you know, if you're going on a date, right? You wanna be presentable, you don't wanna be slouchy, right? And the last mistake I wanna to talk to you guys is that, you know, I know it's gonna be hard to hear, but sometimes some of you, some of you sellers, you know, some of us sellers, since I have properties too, we're, we could be uncooperative. Guys, um, there's a lot of documentation that's required from a seller when they're selling when they're selling a short sale, especially short sale a property. Bank statements, hardship letters, pay stubs, you know, a lot of different things. And as soon as the sooner those things get submitted, the faster you're gonna get approval because the bank will not approve the short sale until all the documentation is is submitted. All right. So to get started, you know, click on the link with a free evaluation, and we'll give you a no hassle free evaluation of your property. Okay. Well. This is Paul Anthony Kelly from TheMortgageSpin.com. Thank you very much. Be fearless, and we'll talk to you next time.